Okay, this is so weird. I'm starting a YouTube. I've wanted to do a YouTube for a long time. Like, since I was a kid. I actually used to make videos of me doing my makeup when I was a kid. I am finally doing it for 2023. It was actually my goal for last year. And technically, I did start YouTube by the end of, the, of 2022. But it was like YouTube shorts that I was posting. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to be posting on here. I think I'm going to do a little bit of everything. Just like vlogs, makeup, skincare, all that fun stuff. It's like a quick little rundown of who I am. I'm Rachel. My Instagram is Rachel Grace Wilson. My TikTok's Rachel G. Wilson. I am from North Carolina and I currently live in California. I've lived there. This is my second time living in California. Um, I've kind of been all over the place. I was planning to play volleyball in college, so I played college um, or I played volleyball year round um, all throughout high school and then just kind of didn't love it anymore and wasn't as passionate about it. So super last minute my senior year, I decided actually I'm not going to do that. And I went into admissions work. I always put my knees in my sweatshirt like this. Um, I went to Hawaii, Kona, Hawaii, and did a thing called YWAM Youth of the Mission and did missions work. So I did a like discipleship training school and then went to Brazil in the Amazon River for three months after that. So six months total. And then that's when I was 18. And then after that, I moved to California at 19. And then moved back to North Carolina when COVID hit. Um, eventually moved to the coast, Wilmington, North Carolina. And then February of 2022, I moved back out to California. And I love California. There's so many pros and cons. Um, for my job, it's honestly either that or New York where I would want to be. Like for all the brands and creating content and brand events, they're all in like New York City or LA. So I'm in a good spot. But my second time there has been a lot better than the first time I was living there. But that's a story for another time. Maybe I can share about that. And the things that I've learned between living in California at 19 and 20 versus 22 and 23. World of a difference. I'm doing Instagram, taking it seriously and making it my job since April of like 2021, I think. I just recently signed with management and it's been really fun. So I'm really lucky and grateful to call this my full-time job, like really dreamed about for a long time. So happy to be here. Who I've been obsessed with lately is Emma McDonald. I love her. I think she's so cute. And I've been listening to her podcast while I've been going on my walks. And it's it makes the walks go by so much faster. I'm home for Christmas. And my sister-in-law and my brother are having their first kid. Any day now. Her due date was two days ago. And I cannot believe I'm going to be a freaking aunt. It's so weird. Life is about to be super freaking crazy. I've already been feeling the stress about finding a roommate or if I live alone and where I'm gonna live and rent because LA rent is so crazy. And the fact that I wanted to move to New York right now, it's laughable. The rent in New York versus LA and for the space that you're getting, it's just unfathomable. I can't comprehend it. Um, but one day, one day I will live in New York, period. Anyways, I did a Q&A on my Instagram and I'm gonna go through a few of them. Okay, how did you edit your IG post? All my pictures I either take on my phone, which I don't do phone pictures as much anymore. I do mostly on a digital camera. So I have the Canon G7X right here. And then I have, um, well I actually just gave it to my brother because he really wanted a camera, but for Christmas. So I gave him my old Canon PowerShot Elf 180, which I loved. And they're super expensive right now, so get the 170 because my best friend has it and it works pretty much just as well and it's a fraction of the price. And I don't really do anything with like actual editing the picture. I sometimes bring down the exposure, I'll mess with the lighting a little bit, but I honestly like don't really put color on it unless 
I just feel like that specific picture needs a little something then I'll edit on the Tezza app, but That's all I do. I just think this camera makes your skin look so good Like I'm kind of breaking out like here, but like from back here. You can't even see it Crazy would you ever start a fashion brand? I have a dream of starting my own brand one day. I almost started one like last year and then decided to move back to California and I was like, I don't have the money to totally invest in that and the energy and time. So I'm gonna do it eventually and I have the name and everything for it. It's gonna be sick. Favorite country singer. My One of my best friends is boyfriend. He's a country singer and he asked that. So shout out Connor Smith. I don't listen to country really, but Connor's great. What got you into Star Wars? I grew up watching Star Wars actually with my brothers. Um, Anakin was my first crush ever, my very first crush. <laughs> and honestly, Harrison Ford is, well, he's old now, but he was really hot too. And cause I grew up watching Indiana Jones too. So like Han Solo and Indiana Jones. But what got me into Star Wars was just like my two older brothers. So when I asked my style inspiration, Carrie Bradshaw, love her. I love Hailey Bieber. If I meet Hailey Bieber one day, I'll act super nonchalant, but internally I will be freaking out. Someone said how to get over a breakup, girl. It took me so long. Honestly, everyone reacts to pain and heartbreak so differently. For me, I've only had two like real boyfriends and it took me a minute to get over both of them i'm thriving now but it took me i know in like sex in the city it says um charlotte's talking about like the rule of how long it takes to get over someone and it's like half the time you're with someone she said mine was literally the opposite mine was like double the time we were together to get over them embarrassing i think just like working on yourself because this past the past two years single I've had the best time ever learning about myself and I've grown so much. I went from being so codependent to being so independent and honestly, it was like the best thing that could have happened to me. I might have to just do a whole other thing on that one day. Tips to grow on social media. Honestly, I feel like it's so much harder to grow on Instagram than TikTok. Um, I've been really focusing on TikTok and it's helped me get Instagram followers from TikTok. Like they'll go from seeing my TikToks and go follow me on Instagram too. But just posting consistently is literally the most important thing ever. Posting every single day, every single day. Also reels, like I've had a few reels do decent. Not like I don't, I haven't done enough, but like one of, like one of my friends has done a lot of reels and she's really good at being consistent with them. And she grew like 15,000 followers so quickly. Also, I guess like tagging brands and stuff in your posts um, when you wear their clothes and like them reposting you could get you followers. Someone said, what's your biggest dream? Um, honestly, to travel as much as possible um, and then marry someone and have a big family and travel with my family. But favorite food, sushi and Italian. I love Italian food. Favorite alcoholic drink? Espresso martinis. I, that's my like goal is to go to every restaurant. I want to find the best espresso martini. So everywhere I go, if they have one, I try it. My first ever espresso martini was on a trip to New York and my dad flew up and met me there. And he took me to this rooftop and I had my first espresso martini there and it was just it was so good. Um, but I do it with a reposado and not a vodka and it's so much smoother. I swear by it. It's I'm a tequila girl, so it's so good. Well, anyways, this is like such a chaotic get to know me slash Q&A. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start filming more and posting on YouTube. It really was like a really big goal of mine for 2022. But you know what? It's 2023. It's January. We're doing it. It's going to be great. And I am just looking forward to posting more in here and like, getting to have a more personable relationship with like my followers versus Instagram. I'm like messing with stuff this whole time so my eyes, I need to like focus, but I've been like looking at everything else. If there's anything else that you guys think I should like post, let me know. I'm definitely gonna do more like makeup things um, and vlogs when I get back to California. But yeah, this was 
a great time. This was super fun. Anyways, talk to you guys soon. Bye.